Nicholas asked, uh, I have a question regarding adding a group to a team. From what I know, you need to be owner of the, the team that you are adding the group to. Also, users in that group is added one by one, so it is not dynamic. We have several security groups, mail enable distributions list, et cetera, sync to Office 365. What is the best way to do this? The same group is also needed to add as a group permission to a SharePoint site. I would like to use on-prem created type of group sync to Office 365, but what is the best way here? So, this is a fun one, identity management. <laughs> oh, gotta wipe the dust off of this knowledge. Um, so you're, you're using on-prem groups. Um, you wanna maintain them on-prem, I respect that. Uh, it, it makes things a little bit more complicated. Um, now, yes, you're right. You can add a group to a team. You know, you have the add members, little wizard dialog box, and it says you can add a distribution list or security group, but that's a point in time. Unpacks the membership, puts it in the team, and done. If you want that to kind of be like a permanent syncing thing, I've only got two options that I can think of. Uh, a, set up some sort of automation, Power Automate, PowerShell script, something like that to regularly sync membership or add the people to the team and cross-reference and remove them when they get removed from the group and so on and so forth. Or create a new team and make it dynamic, uh, make it a dynamic membership group where it's looking at some sort of attribute uh, on your users. And on-prem, instead of adding your users to a group, or in addition, adding them to a group, set an attribute for them. So does this go back to where in SharePoint, you couldn't add a group as a member of another group? Kind of. Yeah, because you could use security groups, but you couldn't use a permission group or a SharePoint permission group as a, a group of, within yeah. that, correct? So that's kind of the way I was reading into this is like they're trying to add a group to a group, which doesn't work. But I it, like what your solutions are, Max. Yeah, it's even worse with the Microsoft 365 groups platform because its members can't be groups. Just right. never can be. It, yeah. it's, Especially if it's on-prem too. The yeah. SharePoint site associated with it, sure, you can screw around with the permissions in there all you want and add security groups and all sorts of fun stuff. but. Now, if we're talking about an M365 group, which is a team, you're, you're going to have to do some wonky custom stuff if you want an on-prem group to in any way sync with the membership there. I, If you can let go of the on-prem component, it, it'll, your life will be a lot easier. But I understand that there may be other implications there. I love the it depends answer again. <laughs> Always. <laughs> I think we uh, did we answer the full question? I think so. I think so. That was cool. I just I think it's good to address these things. I wonder how long, like what's the life, the life cycle of this? How much longer, you know, when when are these people gonna move away from holding on to these components where it's not gonna make any sense to maintain these? on-prem components in this current architecture and update? Well, because they can have their Active Directory in the cloud and sync to something on-prem. They can make the cloud the primary, right? And then sync it to an on-prem if they need to versus on-prem being the primary and sync to the cloud. I, this is beyond my scope, I'm asking. because You're I, actually right. An Office okay. 365 group can be reverse synced on-prem um, for use on-prem. It's okay. the, it'll be overwritten every time it syncs. So, right. you know, if you make changes to the on-prem group, those will those will go away every sync, which happens every 30 minutes unless you customize it. Um, but yeah, that's a, a great point is if you want to reverse the way you do things if you need that group on-prem for some sort of on-prem app that's an absolutely good idea way to go
I just ventured into my danger zone. <laughs> yeah, but you, it was a good point. 